Hello Pirates and welcome to uh, your friendly guide to Outpost 10 progression. Um, the goal here is just to suggest uh, a, an order where how you should upgrade each building and, and why and how to go about it and things you can do while things are upgraded. Hope you find this helpful. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Share with your alliances. I mean, let's all make Battle Pirates great again. Before you go around upgrading things, there's some pre-work to do. If you have any officers, this is a great time to assign one of your officers to the role of construction expert. This will save you 10% on construction speed. And trust me, when you have things lasting 20 days, 10% uh, is a lot. So make sure you have one in that role. I was also going to say and suggest you had one as a weapon expert, but just found out today that apparently, not sure if by design or a bug, the weapon expert is not reducing the time in researching the Omega weapon. So I actually reassigned that one to a naval expert or armor expert, I think it's the role. So it cuts down research on the repair specialist for the ironclads and the cannoneers. Uh, which is also 20 days, so 10% is a lot of uh, time reduction. Okay, so that's first step. The second and last uh, pre-work piece is uranium. You will need a lot of uranium, not to mention all the other resources, but a lot of uranium. So make sure you have a, a uranium fleet. Uh, there are two ways you can go about that. The easier one is a fleet of tide seekers uh, that you can unleash against the river armadas and just collect uranium. I mean, I spent quite a few hours uh, autopiloting against 57s and 75 armadas on the map. Just before you do that, make sure sector threat bar is yellow, otherwise you don't get uranium. You get like 100, 300, 400, it's nothing. So make the sector bar yellow and then go hit uranium armadas with your tide seekers. That's the easiest way. The other way, if you if you're in a sector where the threat bar goes orange often and you have some ironclads laying around, you can just go and easily hit ironclad uh, hit uh, draconian uranium bases, the dubs, with ironclads and get uh, a lot of uranium from each corner of the dub. I, I did a little bit of that too, but mostly I use my Tide Seekers. So, and by the way, these are my builds from a year ago when I originally built them. I still use them this way, and I don't plan on changing anything in them. That's just how I've been using them, and they work. Okay, so let's get started. Step one: you gotta upgrade the outpost. Um, as you see, resource-wise, is not a crazy amount, but you need an almost full load of uranium, 270,000. And it takes, if you have the officer, takes 18 days, 19 hours, 31 minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, Kixai is offering a deal. Um, if you think it's good, if you have a lot of money, if you have 45 US dollars laying around and you think that's a good use for that money, I don't, uh, you can upgrade instantly until October 3rd for half the price. Even half the price for me is too much, but some people may do that. If you had tokens, you can also use tokens. I mean, there were lots of tokens, uh, structure build tokens being uh, made available through TLCs and in the raid. You have them, you can instantly upgrade your outpost. And that's what I did with mine. You get a lot of things, as you can see in there, more turrets, more uh, levels of warehouses, labs, two, two extra turrets, 30 extra land tiles, you can, you can build huge bases, right? I mean, they're going to be the biggest bases ever in Battle Pirates. And you get extra walls, so you get to go through the joy of building 100 extra walls and upgrading your existing 500 walls. You also get the Omega Gatling Gun, which is a massive weapon that goes right on top of the outpost okay so step one hit start upgrade and off you go while it upgrades so if you're waiting for your outpost to upgrade 
You can go out again with your Tide Seekers or Ironclads, collect another boatload of uranium, and start research of the Ironclad or Cannoneer or Centurion Specialist. I mean, the, the repair reduction is significant for the Ironclad, 40%, 25% for the Cannoneer. All you gotta do is have 150,000 uranium and wait 20 days. That time is without the officer. You put the officer in, you cut that time down by 10%. Okay? Once your outpost upgrade is completed, again, you get a lot of extra things and probably the first thing you want to do is go redesign your base. Before you build two extra turrets, before you start upgrading walls, I think the first you want to do is go redesign your base. I'm going to be releasing another video shortly uh, with a couple suggestions for outpost stand base layouts. Stay tuned, but I'm not going to talk about base layouts right here. Naturally, I would suggest you upgrade the shipyard, but then the shipyard requires the highest level of weapons lab. So forget about the shipyard for now and go upgrade your weapons lab. That's your second step in your outpost 10 journey. So not a lot of uranium required, not a lot of resources. It's only three days, 10 hours with officer. Uh, that's going to allow you, once completed, to upgrade the shipyard and start researching the Omega Gatling Gun MK1. As you wait for the weapons lab to upgrade, um, you know, again, you can keep doing your walls at any time, little by little, as you have Xenthium. Um, you can go to a base redesign. I mean, that that's my old outpost line base, base uh, layout in the picture. You can see how... Uh, you see the, the little yellow lines, they show how bigger the footprint is for the base. And now you can use that extra space, extra footprint to redesign completely, use 30 extra land tiles, make longer channels, uh, give bigger distances, uh, build some switchbacks, whatever you want. Um, and of course, while you have something upgrading, you can always equip buildings. Uh, you can be equipping the new turrets to turret bases. You can be equipping tactical modules. You can do all that kind of stuff um, while your buildings are upgrading. Impact. Two bugs uh, that are present in game right now. So when you go use the base planner, two things should be aware. First of all, uh, when you move a turret, you will see that the turret range circle, the red circle you see on the left image, it's off center. So if you're trying to position a turret in a piece of land and, and, and you care about how far it reaches because you want it to reach the channel and whatnot, uh, the base planner right now is not reliable because it's going to always show it offset to the right and to the bottom of your screen. So it may fool you that your turret's not reaching as, as long as you want on the north and left sides, or it, it may fool you again uh, on the right and, and, and bottom side of your screen, making you think that it's reaching where you want when it's actually not. Okay, so you gotta move stuff and then go back, apply, go back to the base and see where, it, where, where the range actually is. The second bug uh, is when you move buildings around, if at any point in time you turn on the view tactical ranges, when whatever you put the buildings at any point in time during the base design section, the, the tactical range circles will stay there. So if you move the same building to three different places, you're gonna see three different tactical cir circles, like a memory where the first place you put there's gonna be a circle, the second place is gonna be another circle, and where the building is now, there's going to be another circle. Um, if you want to clean that, that up right now, the workaround is you save the base design, get off of base planner back into your base view and reopen base planner, turn view tactical uh, ranges again, and then it's going to be clean. Okay, I have no idea when size is going to fix that. Step three, uh, after you got your weapons lab, now you upgrade your shipyard. Just remember, uh, while you have your shipyard upgrading, it, you cannot use the shipyard to build ships or refit ships. So that's a 12 day, 15 hour long upgrade with officer. So for 12 days, 
you cannot build, you cannot refit ships at all. So my advice is, if you only have 12 days, 15 days of tokens, this is where you use them. Don't use them on the outpost, don't use them on the weapons lab if you don't have enough to use on your shipyard. That's the most important building. Use your tokens here. Get it done instantly so you can keep doing your uh, buildings as before. Another thing I noticed, uh, not only you gain 15% weight saving on Scourge weapons, you also gain 15% on Reaver where before I believe you only had 8 or 9%. So. Take a look at your river ships, like your rages and whatnot. They should be a bit lighter as well. Once you start the upgrade of your shipyard, um, of course, that means you finish the weapons lab and that means you can start researching the Omega Gatling gun. Okay, and again, you can keep doing redesign and equipping buildings and doing walls and now the joy. Okay. Don't waste an officer here, as I said, it's not working. It's going to be 17 days, no matter whether or not you have an officer. So I suggest you don't use the officer for construction, ship building, rocket building, anything else that's useful. So I use my tokens on my shipyard and here's the difference. Um, on the left, I took a screenshot of my tentative Fangtooth build before I upgraded the shipyard, you can see the weight 9,122 tons. After the upgrade, uh, build time is the same, resources are the same, but the weight went down by more than 1,000 tons. It's now at 7,952 tons. It's a massive saving, allowing you to put heavier armor, heavier specials, you know. We'll, whatever you need in there but it's very very significant so any ships you have with scourge technology should benefit big time from that and with river technology should benefit somewhat as step four i suggest you upgrade your dock uh, get it ready for tier seven holes i don't know when the first one's coming out but you know the dock weight allowance if you read there in the box more than doubles from 45,000 and change to one hundred thousand tons okay you also gain power which means you can put better tactical modules there to buff your towers or ships or whatever in the dock needs a lot of uranium takes 12 days but the good news are you can keep using your dock business as usual as it upgrades the only thing to keep in mind is if your dock is repairing anything and you click on it to upgrade, you will not see the upgrade option. You gotta stop repairs, and then you click on the dock, and then the upgrade option will be there. Hit upgrade, start upgrade. After that, resume repairing, resume launching, anything you need, it's just gonna work as normal. The one thing we don't get with the dock upgrade, it still only fits 130 ships. So you're going to have to keep scrapping those old ships to make room for new ships. Uh, I know for collectors that's a pain, but that's the way it is. And that's it. I mean, step five after the dock, I'd say it's up to you. I would certainly do the first four steps in that particular order for the reasons I explained. Uh, after that, do turrets, do portals, um, do warehouses. Just be careful of your bubble pad. Um, a, a good idea is to first upgrade one or two turrets at the entrance so you skew the bubble pad towards the entrance and then you upgrade a warehouse in the center and that rebalances the bubble pad right if you do too many things in the center of your base people will be able to kill everything at the entrance get to your guard prep your guard and your base won't bubble so try to keep that balance that's my last piece of advice here. I hope you found that useful. Um, enjoy. 